Hello, Louisa Jewell here with your weekly juice, and this is part two on talking about how to manage guilt. Last week, I talked about managing guilt when you've done something and you feel bad about it and you're carrying that around. So watch that if you want some tips there. Today, I'm going to talk about how do you manage guilt when other people are trying to make you feel guilty? So for example, your mother you know, tries to make you feel guilty because she wants you to call her every day and you only feel like calling her every week. And then she says, well, Susan calls her mother every day. Why can't you call your mother every day? And then she makes you feel guilty. Now it could be, that's just one scenario, but, and I know a little bit about guilt because I had a Sicilian mother, okay? <laughs> but here's the thing. In that scenario, and in a lot of these scenarios, when people try to make you feel guilty, what they're doing is they're saying, I have a certain standard. You are not meeting that standard. Therefore, you need to jump through hoops and perform all the miracles that you need to perform in order for you to meet that standard. Otherwise, there is something wrong with you, or you are a bad person, or a bad daughter or son, if you do that, right? And we take it on and we do feel that way. We kind of feel, oh, we give it importance, right? We make it more important than it is. Just because I don't call my mom once a day, now suddenly I am a bad daughter. We give it meaning. And here's the thing that I want to say. Why is your standard not as important as your mother's standard or whoever's standard, whoever's trying to make you feel guilty? Why is what is important to you and how you want to live your life, why is that not as important as somebody else's life? We need to be able to say, this is what I need to be happy for my life and stick to it. I had a friend who had a very abusive mother, very abusive, and she actually left home at the age of 17. She could not live with her mother any longer. And so years later in her 40s, like she didn't see her mother for years, but in her 40s, her mom contacted her and they wanted to get together. And my friend decided that she would see her mother for 15 minutes once a month. That's how she started. And of course, her mother tried to make her feel guilty and she said, no, that is what I have the emotional capacity to do. That is what I need to do for myself to keep myself safe. And she did it. And you know what happened? She met for 15 minutes and it was okay. And then she met for a little bit longer after a few months. And then, you know, it increased. And then they actually developed a new relationship. Her mother had become a new person that my friend felt that she could have this person in her life again. And it was beautiful. But she did that by setting boundaries, by saying, here's what is important to me. I know me. And I, I love you, there's nothing wrong with you and your standard and good for you that you have that standard, but I need to have my standard too and it's okay for me to have that standard. So today, I'm giving you permission to live the life the way you want to live it. And we can show other people compassion and say I love you, but I'm gonna stick over here, okay? All right, all right, I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time.